Hi, good morning. Michael Friedman here today. Today's lesson is about some additional marketing tips and strategies that you should be using in your vacation rental business. More importantly, tips that you should be using today in 2018 to move your business forward. The business is fast paced. It's changing quickly. There's a tremendous amount of disruption in the business. So it's really critically important that you're on the cutting edge. You're on the forefront of what you can be doing to be marketing your vacation rental property management business in the most effective manner possible. So today I'm going to chat with you about some techniques, some strategies, some specific tips that you should be using in your business in 2018 to make sure you're maximizing and capitalizing on all the opportunities in the marketplace. So what are those tips? Here we go. Tip one is create more content. Content you say, gosh, I don't want to have to create content, but you do. More content, more content, more content, better content. What I mean by content is this, all the mediums that are out there today in the digital world, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, writing blogs, doing videos. Video is so big today. It's really critically important that you're capitalizing and taking advantage of the opportunity in 2018. As I shared with you in one of our other lessons, the mobile platform in today's world is absolutely a critical element that you need to have in your vacation rental business. I shared with you why the millennial generation and how they use it to book. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. So content is key. Remember that content is key. Now, let me say this. Most of us are going to say, well, Michael, you know, I'm not a writer. I don't know how to produce video. <clears throat> that's true. You know, that's possibly a true statement. However, we're going to talk about another strategy, which is leveraging your business. There's plenty of people out there that you can, uh, that you can hire at an affordable price to help you write blogs, to help you create content, to help you share ideas. So first tip, content and more of it. The second tip is one that some of you may be resistant to, and I know that's kind of a negative starting out of the gate and saying it, but I'm just being honest. It's Twitter. Now, what do I mean by Twitter? You need to enhance your Twitter activity, and here's the specific reason why. Most journalists, most individuals that are writing and blogging and using you know, their techniques to enhance and promote people's businesses that are journalists in the vacation rental industry are on Twitter. So it's really important that you use that form of digital media and that medium to enhance and grow your business. Now, don't stress. At the end of the lesson, we're going to have a document that we will share with you about Twitter best practices, techniques, resources, and even more importantly, in our lesson on digital media, where we do a deep, deep dive on each platform, we'll go through the exact steps that you need to take on Twitter to enhance your business. So technique or step or tip number two, enhance your Twitter activity for a lot of great reasons. Tip three is create video. Now, remember I said tip one earlier was more content. This is a specific tip just on video, and here's why. Video will help enhance your SEO, but more importantly, it shows your guests, shows your owners that you are in the marketplace and you understand what's going on. Instead of doing a video from your office or your car, be out on the mountain, be in the snow, be on the beach with your feet in the sand, be in that skyscraper in your urban settings, be on the golf course in, in the desert. My point of all of it is, is that video is king. Like it or not, video is king. So the key becomes is how do you use video? Well, there's a lot of ways. You can use video on your mobile phone. You can get a little camera that you can shoot video anywhere today. It doesn't have to be some elaborate production studio where you know, you feel like you have to you know, have a, multiple cameras and a sound recording studio, no. But do video and be natural about it. People want to see that you're in your natural element and environment. And if you mess up the video, who cares? 
the consumer today is looking for that person who's in their market, understanding the market, and then sharing valuable information. So my point is don't just show yourself sitting around a campfire drinking a beer, but talk about what's happening in your marketplace. Share key statistics as we talked about in another lesson. Let the guests, let the property owners know you understand your market, the value that you bring to them as a vacation rental manager. Tip four for 2018 in this marketing lesson is networking. Now, I've talked about this in a whole separate subject in another lesson as it related to owner acquisition, but I'm bringing it up again today and I'm not going to beat the dead horse. You all know that networking is critical. It's important. But more importantly, it just, again, shows you're out in the marketplace. You're networking with business owners. You're networking with the consumer. And you're, you're getting your name out there. Networking, again, has become a very valuable strategy for marketing your business. And again, it does a lot of things. Besides maybe generate owners for you as a vacation rental manager, it allows you to find great vendors. It allows people to know who you are. It allows you to grow as a person as well. The next tip is email marketing. M more than ever, email marketing is crucial to your business. Now, a lot of people will say, whoa, hold on, Michael. You know, I don't want to just be blasting out stuff to people and then they're going to start unsubscribing or saying I'm spamming them. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a dedicated game plan that in 2018 you can use to co communicate with your guests because you've got their contact information about new properties, specials you may be running. But it also is a great way for you to stay in front of your current homeowners and prospective homeowners. So yes, you're going to have to generate some email lists and we'll talk about that as we did in another lesson as it related to direct mail. But it's really, really important that you're continuing to stay in touch with your guest base and your owner base and your prospective owner base and the community through email marketing. There's a lot of fabulous programs out there that you can use, but what it does is it creates consistency, it gives them a good message, it shows them that you're engaged, it shows them that you really know what you're doing in this business. So again, those touch points of you being able to communicate and touch them with valuable information, new properties, market trends, all of those things that are valuable, please make sure that you're definitely looking at how do you use your email communication and email, we'll call it marketing, in 2018. Again, great news. At the end of the lesson, we'll have some documents on that specific to that strategy. The next tip is a really important one, and it's about understanding where your website visitors are coming from. Predominantly guests, but also potential owners. In today's world of big data, it's critically important, crucially important, that you understand Google Analytics and that you understand how to use that data. The data can give you so much information about what are your main feeder markets? Are those people coming from in the mountains, say Denver, Salt Lake City, Lake Tahoe, whatever the case may be, from the beaches here in Destin? Are they coming from Nashville, Atlanta, Birmingham, Charlotte? Where are they coming from? But more importantly, what is their age group? How much are they spending? The Google Analytic data that you get and understanding that is really important. So it allows you to make excellent decisions in your marketing choices. Now, I'm not going deep on that today. However, we will go deep on it in another lesson where we can show you and we'll show you examples of markets and how that data can be used so you can geo-target your marketing efforts to a specific community in a city where, you know, say 60% of your guests might have come from last year and you know exactly how much they're spending. That's an amazing amount of information. And think about how you can use that to build your business. So in my, my opinion, personal opinion, this is one of the main tips that you need to be looking at as a vacation rental manager and using to your benefit and advantage. And the last tip for today's lesson is outsourcing. Now, you know, when you think about outsourcing, there's a lot of pieces of your business that you can outsource. But today, I just want to cover a few. Definitely as you scale, as you get bigger, as you get larger, as you get 
pressed for time. You're not going to be able to do all of the things that you need to do as a vacation rental manager. So it's really important that you know how to outsource. Outsourcing things like photography, you know, obviously cleaning and maintenance. Um, could be marketing that you're outsourcing because, you know, you just don't have time to be doing, you know, your letters and direct mail pieces and um, website design and uh, all of the collateral that goes around with the marketing, you know, the marketing of your business. So keep that in mind. And again, at the end of the lesson, we'll share with you some really valuable resources and again, specific tips on on pieces of outsourcing and what that looks like. Because outsourcing isn't just saying, hey, go do this for me and I'll pay you. Sure, that's the easy definition of it. But it's really making sure that when you outsource that you understand the cost of it. Because there's a cost associated with it. And how does that impact your bottom line? So again, just another tip in 2018 that you should be thinking about as it relates to marketing your business. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. There'll be more on all of these tips in detail as I shared with you in specific lessons. Have a great day and we look forward to seeing you again soon.